Hello guys, this is Wonderbit Trading and in this short video we're gonna go into the bot settings and I will guide you how to set up a bot using the example of RSI VWAP version 2 that we launched last week. So let's go straight into our bot settings. So here in front of you you can see the screen of creating a new bot and I will separate this into two main sections. The first section will consist of variables that will codify a unique comment for you, which you put into your trading view strategy or study alerts. The second section is corresponding to the entry and exit parameters that you should input into your bot. So let's start with the first one. You should start with typing the bot name, select the exchange for which you would like to trade, and obviously all these exchanges should be connected prior to the bot settings. For this example, I will leave the FTX exchange. Then you can select the API profile, which is connected to your FTX exchange. In this particular account, I have just one API profile, but it has to be selected. The time frame is used for your own benefit, and it will be very beneficial for you to match this time frame with what you're gonna input into the TV alert. And the last thing you have to select is the pair. As we're gonna do this for the RSI view up, uh, I will select Ethereum Perpetual and leave it like this. So as soon as you fill in all these parameters, your unique comment will be filled and it's gonna be shown on the right hand side of this tab. The next section is corresponding to the inputs that you are actually inputting into the strategy. And you can start with the portfolio share. So the portfolio share is the percentage of your available balance with which you would like to trade. So if you have $100 on your account and you put 10% of your portfolio share, that means that the entry will be for $10. For FTX, you can also input the absolute amount in dollars. So for example, you can set the $100 as an absolute amount and your bot will be trading with $100 all the time when it enters the position, regardless of the portfolio amount that you hold. Make sure that if you have just $50 on your account and you would like to trade with the $100, you need to make sure that you set the leverage in accordance with that. So basically, your FTX account should have a leverage of at least 2x in order to do that. The next thing you can do is set up the leverage at Wunderbit Trading. You can input any amount you want. It doesn't have to be the round number. The next thing to select is the order type. It's either going to be a market order, so as soon as your TV alert will be triggered, it will send a signal to Wunderbit Trading and will send the signal to the exchange in accordance to your settings or it can be a limit order. And in this case, you can select three different options at which price you would like to enter. Either the last price traded on the exchange, the ask price or the bid price. After that, you can set the deviation from that price equal to 1% or equal to an absolute amount. So you can input $10 from the bid price of the exchange. The next important thing is the multiple entries. So if your bot can add up to the position, the multiple entries option should be switched on. That means that as soon as the buy signal, for example, will be triggered, your bot is going to enter into the position. If another buy signal will be triggered before the exit signal triggers, this will be the addition to your position. However, it will be shown as a different strategy on the dashboard. The exit all option is used if you would like to exit all of your previous entries with one exit signal, which is coming from your trading view strategy or study alert. The next important thing is the multiple take profit targets. So over here, you can select several take profit targets, selecting different portfolio shares and the take profit level from the entry price at which you would like this take profit to be taken. The stop loss is working in a very similar way to a take profit. You have to input the percentage change from your entry level and based on your position, either long or short, the stop loss level will be calculated automatically for you. You can input any value that you want. 
the trailing stop parameter will have an input in percentage and if you put an input of 1% that will mean that from your entry point the price should increase by 1% if you are in a long position and after that your trailing stop will be activated. That means that if after this initial increase of 1% from your entry point the price will drop for more than 1% your stop loss will be at the break even point. So, let me now show you the example of how to set up the RSI VWAP strategy version 2. On the right hand side you can see the board settings that we currently went through and on the left hand side you can see the tutorial where you can find the code and also the input parameters. So first thing to do is to copy the code, paste it into your TradingView Pine script and then apply it to the chart. And you will have your strategy appeared on the chart itself. The next thing to do is to look carefully into the buying code itself. As you can see, there are only entry and exit signals. So we have the entry signal for the long position, exit signal for the long position, and the similar signals for the entry short and exit short positions. In that case, that means that the take profit levels will be shown on the chart itself and they will be included into the backtest result. However, you will have to put them separately in the Wunderby trading parameters in order for the strategy to work accordingly to the backtest. So the first thing to do is to make sure that you input the correct amounts into the take profit level 1 and take profit level 2. The first parameter of the long take profit is 3.3 and this will be 15% of your portfolio and the rest will be at the target level of 12%. You should also activate the stop loss and the stop loss target is 3.3 and you shouldn't have any trailing stop. However, as you probably will notice, the parameters for the short positions are different. And in this case, what I would suggest is you create two separate bots. The one which is going long and another one which is going short. However, you can do this from the same graph and just input the different signals. So for your long bot, you will have the signal to enter long and exit long. And this will be bot number one, which is going just in long direction. And then the second bot will be to enter short and exit short with its own comments. So basically, you will have one trading view alert, which will trigger all the time whenever either long position or short position will be triggered. However, in Wunderby Trading, you will have two separate bots, one which is going long and another one which is going short. Thank you very much for watching guys, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and stay tuned with our free trading news strategies which we're presenting for you every week. Best of luck with your trading.